Hey, how's it going? And today we're going to be showing you how to create some ready-made fire with uh, using uh, procedurals that are already created for you. So this is kind of a quick and easy way to create a two-dimensional fire if you need it. To get started, you're going to have to go to this DuPont website using this URL up there. I don't know if you can read all that. I'll leave a link in the description. And you're going to need to download this DP kit. Just go to download. Let's see, you probably want... I'm in uh, using Lightwave 2018, so we're gonna use this one here. We'll just go save that. And it downloads really fast. And then, let's see. Then you're gonna need to go to the uh, Rman Collect, and you go here to download. And there's, there's two of them. There's textures and nodes. So you could just download both of them. So download that one, save, and then for the nodes, you want to download this one. You'll need the uh, the nodes, by the way, and then they'll they're downloaded. So that's what you got to do there. And then, of course, you go to your your downloads file and you unzip them. Okay, I had to take a little break there. And so once I've got these folders copied into my Lightwave folder, you see there's the DP kit, Rman collect, Rman node collection. I can just go into uh, Lightwave. I'm in Lightwave uh, 2018.0.7 and we're gonna go to utilities and I'm gonna go to edit plugins and I'm gonna go add plugins. And then I'm going to navigate to that folder. I'm gonna go back a little ways here support plugins and I can click here open and uh, click there and open and I go back to add plugins and I can add this one open click open and 56 plugins and then I'll go add plugins one more time and these here, the node, and go open, open, okay. And then they've all been added, done. Okay, so now they're in. Okay, so once you've got the plugins loaded, there's a couple, I'm sure there's more than one way to do this. I'm just gonna show you the couple ways that work for me. And one way you can bring in the procedural is as, a, as on a backdrop. So if you go into backdrop, you go to add environment, you go textured environment, you double click this, and you go texture and here where here's where your maybe your um, results might vary I don't know if the plugin varies from whether it's in 2018 or 2019 but sometimes it seems like you've, you've got to maybe play around with it a little bit but here in 2018 if I'm in the textured environment in the backdrop if I go to layer type and go to procedure texture and then if I go to turbulence I don't see the the procedure that I'm looking for listed here but if I go into node editor and then go into edit nodes, I see my plugins over here. Now if I double click torch, it pops up right here. And then all I have to do is connect this into value. Now if I go into, if I close all this and go into VPR, there's your flame. And this is as a textured environment and, it, and it's flickering, it's burning. It's totally cool. And then from there you can kind of figure out what you want to do. If you want to go back in to edit it, you just go into backdrop, textured environment, texture, and then just edit nodes. And if you double click here within the plugin, you can see there's strength, speed, wind, and seeds and some other settings that you can adjust to get the effect that uh, you're looking for. Now within this plugin, there's also flame, there's a uh, torch, Let's see what that looks like. There's torch and, oops, double click here. There is torch, campfire, you can kind of see it here. Some of these are actually look really cool. And the fire, and the fire, the fire and the flame both look pretty awesome, I think. And again, there's settings on each one. Now that's going in as a uh, textured environment, going in through the edit nodes. Now, another way to get to this is if we clear the scene, and uh, let me see, I mean, double view, so double vertical, so I'll just change it to single. Another way is if I go into model geometry and I just put a, a cube right here. Let me switch to perspective and I'm just pulling these sliders. I'm turning my scroll wheel and I can stretch this out, stretch this up and then pull it back in. 
just to make a wall or a billboard. Okay, and then I can go to the camera view. And then if I want to stretch this up a little bit more, I can. So I'm just making a, a billboard. Then if I go into Surface Editor, I can double click on this, click on that, go to Edit Node Graph. And I have all my textures right down here. And I double click Torch. It pops up right here. And I can plug it straight into color. And if I go into VPR, there is my, my torch. My, my flame, I guess that is. Now, I should be able to back out from this a little bit. Hold on. Yeah, so what I can do here, there's a couple things. One thing, I can actually go into backdrop, turn off the gradient backdrop, and there's my flame. And then I can, I can resize this flame. I see it hitting the, the end of my, my wall there. Cool about these textures is they're already animated. So that is pretty awesome, I think. And then you can uh, adjust them even more. If you're having some problems, if you go back into Surface Editor, Edit Node Graph, double click here, I can switch this from Flame to Fire, which I think this one is, is pretty cool. And I hit Play. It's already animated. And if I just extend my frames out, I haven't played with all the settings, but I just think it's if you're looking for a 2D fire simulation, I think this is as good as you could want to get. And again, with the object, if I click on my object, let me go out of VPR here for a second. Let's see what happens if I stretch this out even more. Okay, let's go back to VPR. And there is your fire. I want to check something here. If I go D color space, let me check, make sure I'm in sRGB. Yeah, so if I go back into the surface editor here, edit node graph, we can adjust these. Sometimes you can hook up the alpha to the transparency too, and that will help make it look better, make it blend in a little bit better. And then the other thing you can do is, um, if you're editing these, you can adjust the, the, I thought you could change the color on this one. Fire, maybe it's only on the, the torch. Smoke, I thought there was a hue adjustment here. Flame. Hue. Now, one other thing that's interesting is that if you go in here to the DP kit, and you come to color layer. So let me just delete this. If you go to color layer and you click here and you go texture, it should give you the option of floating in the torch. But it's so funny because I, I don't see it uh, on here. Well, anyway, I just wanted to just present this to give you get you working with the plugin and you have time to play around. I did notice that if I open this in 2019 and not 2018, I get a little bit different behavior. So I'm assuming that the plugin is probably tailor made for 2019 and not 2018. So, for example, if I, I'm here on this uh, cube that I'm using as a billboard, if I go into the surface editor and I go to edit node, I see my my procedures over here, torch and I can double click it and add it here like that. But in other programs in 2019, I notice I've got to, the procedure doesn't pop up here like this and you've got to go in through the layers here. You've got to go through layers plus and you got to go through color layer first. So if you're in 2019, what I noticed is, what I noticed in 2019 was that the procedure layer doesn't pop up here like it does in 2018. In 2019, it doesn't pop up and you've got to put up the DP layer first and then and then add the, the texture through here versus just dragging it onto the timeline. So there seems to be some differences in how the plugin interacts with whether you're in 2018 or 2019. That's just been my experience. So if you're in 2018, the good news is you can just click here and the plugin comes right up and you can just plug it in and mess around with it. Also, if I drill in here in 2019, there's a hue setting 
but in 2018 there isn't anything for you. But if you're in 2019, which so I would recommend actually not using 2018, I'd recommend using 2019. But if you're using 2019, you've got to go to the DP kit and add the color layer, and then click through here to add your torch texture. And then once you do that, you're, you're good to go. I hope that is helpful. What I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna render out a couple of these. So like I said, I can just do that straight here. I click torch and I can just plug this in and I'll just go ahead and render these out so you can get a look at what you found. Anyway, these from DuPont, these plugins are awesome and so I'd encourage you to support him and through a small donation, all that you can afford, I'm sure he's appreciated, but it's really nice that he's keeping these plugins going for Lightwave users. So that's all I had for today. Take care and have a great day.